Hello, hello. Oh, let me turn down the. <laughs> I know you can't see me, but you can hear me. Okay, yeah, okay, sounds good. Hello, hello. This is. Okay, so for, I, I, I swear I started at 8.15, okay? I, no, sorry, I started at 8. But I been the stream has been cutting out like every two minutes for the past like 15 minutes okay anyways we're here now um also i realized today is not a saturday um i'm well aware but um i really 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 <laughs> really want to play 2.1 and um my weekend schedule is a bit ugh, so um, I decided to play it during the week instead, which I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, because, um, you know, I don't know how many people would actually, I don't know if you can hear that at all, um, how many people would be willing, oh, there's, a <laughs> there's the audio, um, I don't know how many people would be willing to watch during the week, but um, hopefully some of you guys are in spring break and are having a good break. If you guys are suffering through the week, then welcome, <laughs> welcome to the gang of sufferers, su suffer, suffer, sufferers, I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's play some HSR. I don't know if there's any other information that I was supposed to tell you. I don't think there was. It's also gonna take me a while to boot up HSR. I did remember to update the game this time. So 
shouldn't take that long. Um, but we'll pray. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to switch the yada yada. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me pause the music. Uh, you can't hear that yet. There we go. I'm gonna turn this down. Da, 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 da. I feel like I'm the same volume as this freaking game. Am I? Maybe I'm okay. I don't know. We're gonna find out, I guess. I think this is gonna take me a while for it to. Checking up with himself and scared me. Oh, okay. I was like, did you start? I did. Oh, I don't see it. <laughs> I was just checking if everything was working okay. Yeah. Should be as far as I know. But sometimes it doesn't, it's just a me issue sometimes, honestly. That's true. Because sometimes I have to go to a certain place for it to like show a look. It says like I can't see it though right now. Oh shoot! What? Why is it private? <laughs> no one, <wonder>. bro. <laughs> okay, no wonder. Oh, you finished your update. Good yeah, time. I, I updated it last night. Oh. Yeah, so it's already been set. Oh, are we live now? Is this awkward for me? I don't know if you want to stay. You can. So I realized I didn't set the video to public the whole oh, time, shit. so no one would have been here. So I really was talking to myself for no random reason. Oh shit, I didn't realize I'm on months. the live stream now. Yeah, you are. That's okay. okay. You and HSR music. Um, I'll see you later though. Okay. Or do, should I eat in here? Or do you want me in here? Or Up to you. Um, if you want to stay. Uh, will you check the chat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Most likely, unless they're doing gross okay. and I try to reach it. I, I look out for chat, yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna leave then. Okay, bye. bye. If you need me, call me. Okay. Bye. Okay, I think we should be okay now. Hello, hello. I... Uh, hopefully, I don't... Hopefully, it actually saved the whole beginning part that I did. I think it should be. I had a whole rant, okay, that I was like, oh, I realized today is not, but Saturday, <laughs> I can't believe it, I, oh. that makes sense why, I changed it to private, because all the big snippets before, basically for the past 15 minutes, it's been going in and out, so I just gave up, and I was just like, okay, um, finally worked, at <laughs> eight minutes ago um sorry distracted but anyways i realized today is not a saturday and yes i am it's a tuesday and i'm going to play hsr why because i really really want acheron if you can't tell by the title of the video so um today's plan so i will be streaming tomorrow too i'm only playing through the first half of the quest Actually, I should probably didn't just call this part one. Hey. <laughs> part one, if that makes sense. Meaning, it's probably gonna be part one and then it's gonna cut out and there's gonna be like three, four, and then tomorrow's probably gonna be like five, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, um, I forgot what I was saying. My brain is already super hyper 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 which is a good thing because i heard that the first half is very information heavy so i'm probably gonna get tired pretty fast but um there was something i was gonna say um oh right so i'm streaming about half of it today um and then the other half tomorrow night I don't want to stream it all in a day because I'm not going to be a degenerate like last time and stay up till 5am streaming. 
you just are, you know, I need to sleep. <laughs> it's, a, it's a school week. So um, I'll only be playing half of it today. I don't know when. Hello, Annie. She's the one that's going to be telling me when to stop, um, when to pause, and when to start tomorrow. She's my guider. Guide. She's my Paimon for today. To end tomorrow, actually. But, um, yeah. With that being said, oh, there's more information, of course. So, I do have pulls to do for Acheron. I'm, I haven't really figured out when I want to do this. I picked a very convenient spot, if you can't see. Um, also, if you can't see, I have Sparkle. So, the pulling situation is a bit... Um... Oops, I'm sorry. Was... This feels like I'm being exposed almost, because I'm like... There's... Whoa. Oh, look at Akron. Ah! Wait, I, I kind of... No, I can't. I can't. I have to start. Oh, I can't take my precious time staring at Akron's trailer before I start, right? Okay, all you need to know is I saw Acheron and I had a heart attack and life has been splendid since. <laughs> so, um, doing absolutely great. Okay, sorry, where am I? I don't know what this, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. If you guys want, there's my code. I don't know what to do with it or else. Okay, um, so let's first look at the pull situation because I don't know what I'm going to do this yet. I have 90 pulls and I've been grinding a little bit trying to get 1,600 to get one more 10 pull. Maybe that will be saved for tomorrow, we'll see. But I do have 90 pulls. The bad thing is I ended up winning my 50, my third 50-50 with Sparkle, right? I, my, my pulls on this has actually been kind of crazy, but, um, I did one 10 pull on Jingyuan's banner, don't ask why. But I got Sparkle, and I think before that, I don't know if I can see that far back, actually. Before that, ew, I hate that I saw that name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just seeing Sampo's name is enough. I am very glad to have been told that apparently there's not much Sampo in this. Or there is no Sampo. Okay, yeah. So then I got our precious Dunhong. And then I think before that... I'm surprised this actually goes this far back. I think I... Yeah, Argenti. Um was the last one. So I won three 50-50s, which means I am pretty sure, unless Hoyuverse really considers me their best new streamer friend, um, I am not going to win my 50-50. But, um, so I've been trying to, like, get enough pulls for two five stars, like, losing my 50-50 and then getting her. Um, but right now where we are, we're gonna have to pray for pity, early pity, but, you know, there's still some hope before tomorrow. I will also probably pull again tomorrow if I don't get her. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep, start the story quest, and then if I reach a point where I feel like I should pull for her, I'll probably pull for her. If not, it'll be at the end. But, I'm just, oh, I really want her. I also don't have full stuff for her, so I don't know how useful it will be playing with her. Because I also don't have a proper team set for her. Well, I mean, I have a team, but I need to work on the team, you know what I mean? Like, I have a level 40, level 40 Pilla and Gwen, so... And they don't have the best stuff, but yeah. Anyways, let us start with this. I guess we'll just start right here. Teleport right here. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I really want to see accurately quickly. Oh, wait. With 
Wait, hold on. Sparkle was with who? With Aperon? I mean, I've I've seen people experiment with like um, well teams. Maybe that was just Sy was it Syox or Braxifon? I don't remember who, but I remember people were experimenting with well teams. There were Sparkle teams. I mean, it's plausible. I think I have enough characters. There were Silver Wolf teams too. Wait, was it Silver Wolf? I think Silver Wolf teams too. But like, I don't, I don't know. I don't have many of those characters, and I don't know. I've heard like double nihility is our best. You know, one um, stack up the debuff situation. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, okay. Um, I guess we'll just start. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I have a few predictions. Let's, I'll, I'll, let me first predict about this, okay? So I think, first of all, I'm pretty sure that Firefly is not dead. And there's a pretty high chance that Robin is not dead. Especially because... Actually, I don't know if I can talk about that. But, um, I'm praying Robin is not dead because I felt really bad that she was just introduced and then she was killed off immediately so um i hope robin is still alive um i've heard about the theories about sam and firefly i don't know how to feel i i don't know i mean i can see it but i also don't know i think half of these theories are probably debunked at this point because it's been like a week or so since it came out but um I don't know what other theories that I have. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess since Robin was drip marketed, she should be playable. Oh yeah, she was drip. Wait, was she? Oh, I don't remember if she was drip marketed or not. But um, I'm pretty sure since she's gonna be a playable character, that she's definitely alive. Cause I don't think we're not gonna be able to play dead characters. I don't think Koyaverse has made that a thing yet, if not Senora, but um, I don't know. Those are the only really theories. Oh my gosh, I created a whole thing. I, okay, I am a kind of avid, not avid, sorry, avid is not the right word for that. I do play Honkai Impact. I played it for a little bit. I'm only in like chapter 10 of the beginning story, so... I don't know a lot about the story, but um, I'm like trying to play some stuff because I really I am like I'm a lore heavy person. I like lore a lot. Um, so I wanted to kind of like get into HSR lore and HA3 lore. So I have been kind of into that. So I did. I'm hoping to see hopefully understand some references in this. I know like with Acheron's trailer and stuff there was a lot of HA3 and I was just like oh my god my HA3 by Stingle and the whole Hersher situation I'm just like yes. So anyways I'm really excited for that stuff because I really like lore of games so I guess we're gonna find out too. Either way, I don't care what Akron does as long as... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what my limits are for me to be like, no, I don't want... I'm pulling for Akron either way is what I'm, gonna... what I'm saying. I don't... I don't know what happens in the story. I mean, I care what happens in the story, but that's not gonna affect my decision on whether I'm getting her or not. So, um, anyways, let's just continue to start the quest because... If not, you're just gonna hear me talking for like 20 hours. I should have just come here and started talking. Oh, but then I would have to talk in front of this man, and I don't want to do that. Oh, also adventuring. I don't know how to feel about him. I don't like him. I'm not gonna pull for him. He's gonna be the first one, minus Jingyuan, to break my having all male five-star playable characters. He's gonna break it, so um... Yeah. So cool. Do you see Sparkle? Sorry. I love Sparkle. I'm glad I pulled for her too. Anyways, distracted, adventuring. Let's go. Oh, I'm not. Wait, no, hold on. Hold on. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I can do this. I can do this. Do I want to talk to you? No. Do I have to talk to you? Yes. Okay. 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I saw that. I think there was like parts of the actual trailer too that was released where there was like flashes of a kid and I was like hypothesizing that we're gonna get Adventuring's backstory. So I'm excited for that. Oh, anyways, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Shut up now. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. Also, audio's okay, right? Oh, oh, we're back here. Wait, where is she? Maybe she can't die. Well, like, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with my family? Uh huh, totally. I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for. Oh wait, did she sink into the water or something? Me, okay. Ask in the I'm glad audio is good. They hate me and they hate the IBC, so they never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. Oh. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. So Black Swan you had really knowledge of it? Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time. Oh yeah, Akron's also definitely not a Galaxy Ranger. Also, her name is not Akron, I think, right? Even though we call her Akron. Forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Wow. I also have this line of zero hypotheses the dream about the family. So. Not even a memo key. could have done it friend the only one is her the girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger an imposter an unsought guest an emanator who hides her true identity just hearing Acheron makes me feel happy <laughs> <laughs> and Robin? oh that was another thing Who will be the next to die? I don't know. Uh, oh, something about Ifrit, I think, was um, me and my roommates at least were talking about it, but there's very high chance that Ifrit's not actually dead um, because I don't know if you guys have played it. Spoilers. Um, like, there's one quest where I think it's the crown of mundane life where we actually see Ifrit do some stuff and basically we see a part of him and i think like there was a very high possibility that he actually like kind of like separated himself so that akron technically did not kill him and also it's possible then that the um ifrit's people i forgot what they were called the the four characters that were released by um ifrit or no yeah that's duke inferno right like the four um people that were trying to take down the eons um those four actually took that as a disguise of fleeing as an actual opportunity to go to different places like they were specifically targeting those locations and ifrit's death was just like oh they're running away when they're really not so that was my hypothesis on that I don't know how accurate that is though. Anyways, um <clears throat> if that that's just one side of the story, so. I believe Acheron. For now. <laughs> Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I don't know if I want your just trust. You realize that wherever that legacy is concerned. Covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. 
I was also gonna make a pun saying this is the Archon quest, no, the Acheron quest, but um, I realized there's no Archons in this game. <gasps> Black Swan! Is it finished though? Adventuring is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion. But it's strangely the kept with the IPC. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. Mm-hmm. I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. You I said almost everyone away. here was here to scrambling for the legacy. The IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. Isn't it's that... A bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our cause. Oh, another thing I was thinking of, sorry, this beginning might just be some of my hypotheses ramblings, but the cancer of the cancer of all worlds is also possibly um, the HSR version of Honkai energy, if you know from HI3. It's, I think it might be a correlation where it's like, they, in this world, they call, um, Honkai stuff, I don't know what it is, the Cancer of All Worlds, or Stellarons, I don't know. I think Stellarons Condensed Energy or something like that, right? Is it? I don't know. If it is, my hypothesis makes more sense, but you will never know. You won't know for a while. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Uh-huh. Put it this way, they've hushed up the existence of death before. So they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. Mm. Well, that's not fair, right? So then, friend. See, he wants to find out how Robin died. Or who killed Robin? You. But I'm really not asking for much, so I forgot that the okay. the the dev said that our choices can actually influence how the story turns out. I forgot about that. I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once so finding her opportunity. death. I've been investigating but no one says lots of friends oh. all over Panicomi precisely for this very moment. <sighs> this tragic news. I guess adventuring doesn't care yeah. enough about so they'll be doing everything um, they can to stop Firefly. Me, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. <laughs> Decision like this is way above my pay grade. Can you guarantee me Acheron then? Don't worry, you just head back and talk things over with your companions. That also, isn't Dunhong supposed to end up 
She must I know, no one cares about Firefly. I care about her. Where is she? She's not dead, right? She can't be dead. I won't call you. Take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more. Is this Stellar Jades? Tell me it's Stellar Jades. Also, when he texts you, make sure he gives you more options. Oh. How do I have to smooch up to him in order to get my money? I trust Black Swan, I think. What is she thinking? She's confusing, but I'm also like, Acheron can take her, so she's fine. <laughs> oh my god, that Rondo dance was a whole, wow. Oh. He's weird if he likes that. He needs to seek some help. <clears throat> Get his head checked. I don't want to be mean to him if he likes it. That's like reverse psychology. It feels like it's reverse psychology. I agree. Pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking. For the and money. Is it credits or is it stellar jades? Is no fool and it's probably credits, right? No, I need to rob him of his money. I should be mean. I should rob him of his money. A bargain, if you will. At least I can be mean to him for no reason. Mm. For Firefly's sake. <laughs> this is my true feeling. <laughs> Can I just toss a die? Uh... For Firefly's sake, I care about her. Thank you for agreeing with me. Be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound. So Robin was killed much earlier than witnessed it in action before. Firefly? Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities. But there was a dream. So like she was killed probably before we ever arrived. What did he say? No. Ah, I guess so. More money for Acheron. <laughs> I'll gladly dump it in Acheron. Not even you can find an answer, can you? She's the most special guest. At this banquet, it's like a venturing said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. If you see me squealing, you know. Ah, I'm waiting for Acheron, my beloved. Eh, that sound is nice. <laughs> and hi, Mandy. <laughs> Okay, but they didn't appear one after the other. <laughs> I am. Every single mention of Akron makes me happy. Let me type that. everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler <clears throat> and a family celebrity. Um then this murderer's motive we, we can share chewing over. 50 50. You take her one day, I take her one day. I wasn't paying attention. Smuggler than a family so why is this in bold? 
HSR, what are you doing? Okay, sorry. Two victims. Uh, two possibilities. The collapsing of Pentacron's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections, or everything has been planned out and executed. I think the latter. Hmm. Okay, I guess I have no questions. <laughs> Anytime. I guess I realized since like... Yeah, thank you, Annie. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. See, I can understand why people would be like, oh my god. Has Solis been there? I'll take it. Let's take a walk. Walk with Sparkle. Not here. Not here. No. <laughs> I still cry every time I go to this place. I'm sorry, hold on. I literally feel like crying every single time I go to this place. What the? Oh, wait. Oh my god, wait, it actually is like almost exactly the same. This is where we lost her. Oh. This way. This is where we part ways. Why do we part ways? A nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just That's okay. Is the reality that happened. And it won't fade. I'll also probably type Sometimes. I don't know. Don't be afraid. Mm. My hand gesturing makes sense. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. There you go. A small parting gift. I knew I knew it. It's like a, you like tear it and then <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna say You know like those magic cards when you tear it and like a magic spell you can use like a magic spell I don't know if you watched um, Oh, I forgot the witch in the bowl on webtoon But it's like that where you tear a card and like you can use magic <laughs> But instead, if you tear a card and Black Swan pops out, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Imagine her like coming out of a card like Genie. Oh, I think that was only funny to me. That's okay. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. That's okay. Thank you. Something private to take care of regarding that gallery. Is that the rondo? Is that the private thing? The rondo? Fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. And I sincerely look forward to seeing you again. Oh my god. I am ugh. Wow. Is this like what is this what it's like in our Discord channel? <laughs> when I don't see messages and then I open it and then I get like ten thousand different messages. <gasps> Wait, no, yes, we need help, Dan Hong. No, she did, and oh, that's okay. <clears throat> I mean, if he if he shows up, then I will actually be very happy. Life is great as long as Dun Hong is there, and is Himiko okay? How did we end up here? Zero? Huh. I guess we're going there. Oh, shoot. 
I also spend a lot of time recently trying to grind through this stuff. Through Penacony quests and stuff, so I have a decent amount of stellar jades and stuff, I think. Why do I need credits when I can just smack balloons for a while? Huh? Can we go around for a second? I want to actually use the statue. Ah, oh, almost there, almost there. One more. One more. It feels so weird to run around with Sparkle and Penicone, but that's okay. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for This feels like an excellent moment to get abducted by someone. I'm hoping I'm not jinxing that. Oh. Whoa, Sam versus Akarok. Oh, I know this cutscene! Isn't this when the thing explodes? The theater? Music box behind. Oh, is he destruction? <laughs> you say mother. Even sacrifice your Oh, I know this is uh you won't get special treatment. Eh, pause, 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 pause. I'm sorry, which path are they aligned with? He's talking about destruction and then some eon and then the hunt, but isn't Akron isn't hunt, is she? Hello. <laughs> Akron is definitely super fun. I I can't Ak Akron is like okay. Calm, 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 patience. I don't- okay, I'm just gonna pay attention. I can't. It's too much to process. Oh, they do? <laughs> I agree, she's out of availability. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. I thought he just follows... I thought he doesn't follow one. A path. Actually, wait, doesn't that make sense for Duke Inferno to become playable in the future then? Question mark. Oh. Oh, unalive ability. I think unalive ability and unavailability. Your companions don't seem to think so. I'm scared. After what she did to Black Swan, I'm like terrified of her. But also, like you know, giddy, both. Duke Inferno is dead, right? Uh, oh, they are the eons, right? Duke Inferno talks so slowly, though. 
Why is it in bold? Why is Hoyaverse messing with these fonts? The red, the bold, the regular. <laughs> Is it brief? Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything is this too, like, advanced <laughs> for me to understand? I feel like they're, they're, you know, like... There's like so much hidden meaning behind their words that I just can't, I can't. Defeat or victory? I mean, or an alliance or something like that. What am I in defeat? Fire in existence. <laughs> May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Okay. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose. Perhaps out of reciprocity. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Oh. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Okay, maybe if I back to the waking world. theory about <laughs> Duke Inferno being alive, maybe. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. What? What? Huh? My Who? Time. <gasps> Pretty lady. <clears throat> did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away but why yeah why did destiny slave make you do it why have i heard of destiny slave oh you i thought this is just the kind of thing that would get written into your script my script has always been hi honey I'm glad you're able to join. Okay, Elio. I feel like I've heard it sometime before, but I didn't remember. Akaron, who are you? Exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. Definitely not mine, so. Your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know. You're something. wanted by the IPC. Which ex Maybe I do we already know that? That she's wanted? Do we have reason have for why that? Adventurine was chasing That's after Akron so much? Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So, I know who is inside that cold armor. What? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? 
It's not yet time. When will it be time? I need help. What I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> I will never forget that. Oh, um, never mind. <clears throat> What's next then? If she already knew that. The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. I'm gonna go look for her. No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Because they want to go look and see for Shimmer. To track down the grand legacy. I tried settling this. I mean, here's easier. the thing. If they had said that, like, oh, the legacy has maybe a way to save Blade, I would have happily given the legacy to the Stellar Art Hunters. So, so. <laughs> the so called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, hey, I ask you before she asks that one more thing, let me review this text one more time because I feel like I need to. Um, uh... Okay, okay. One more thing. Yes. Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. I? They're playing. Hello, Derek. Hello. Jeez. Hello. I knew it. I'm glad that there's so many people joining. I didn't think this was possible on a <laughs> non weekend. It's about to have the same exact question was Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Oh. I don't never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live with this cold. Sorry, that feels a little too. Hoyaverse really has been hitting a lot on dreams. Oh, the dreaming is a HI3 reference. Maybe it is. Wait, is that the dreaming part? I do vaguely remember something like this. Is that so? Maybe? And you're already living in the waking world. Oh, the line? Huh. If it is a line, then, um, I haven't gotten to it yet. Hi, <laughs> Himeko and Martin Welt. I'm sorry. I'm really confused about the timeline of when Robin. cruises on in Died. <laughs> that was a complex way. Stay strong, everyone. This is a lot of text. We'll do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Yes, vengeance. Vengeance for Firefly. Reminded me of something. March. Do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? What? 
Indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Uh -huh. back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Hanakoni's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. Snowed? Also be that There's Miss snow? Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. <laughs> After all, the nature of the two murders is <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> That's what you decide to summarize. <laughs> accurate though, accurate. Uh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> I'll just be talking a lot probably instead of fighting. I also I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm fully paying attention to half of what's being said. Okay, we trust the nameless, that's how it's referenced. So my evasive. He also mentioned failed to mention anything about the earlier murder. Family's plan to cover all up the news. Pimbo's murder. Followed closely and was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by being in the reinforcement side. So they're saying it was weird how they they were like strongly covering up Robin's death, but then Firefly's death was more like we were asked to help out about it. I don't know. All the while accusing that Galaxy Ranger. I trust that Galaxy Ranger a hundred percent. 99%. That 1% is reserved. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. Mm hmm Okay. Investigation time. Of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool of spinning around that legacy even after everything has happened. What if after all this the legacy doesn't even exist? What if this is just a chase for nothing? Also, how do you respond to the family? They didn't trust the crew they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal scandal plus this is the family's turf teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future as for that aventurine well i'd like to hear your thoughts he's complex deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while he appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion it wasn't forced but the intent was obvious still it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty adventurine showed his skills and as far as I still so have no idea what the heck can become a reliable adventuring is doing I don't know if I care to understand what he's doing, if I'm being honest. Too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, mm. we have the option to pull out. Play the middle. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. 
It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't Aww, stand it anymore. Oh, these are caring about me, Marge. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for worrying. Oh, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, I just feel just like he's playing it. like like he's just setting up all the pieces and it's really hard to see what his motive is and what the heck he's doing because they're all such like random pieces being moved. Is this the time when I get to bully him? Can I bully him now? And exploit him for his money? I'm ready. I want to exploit him. Is this actually where I get to um, hopefully make a dent in his wallet? this. Bully? So I should be like, that's it? Well, actually, if Adventurine were to pull, and he's an ally, I think he would actually help me get Akron earlier, right? Because technically, Adventurine's, Adventurine is gambling. Luck. Gambler's luck. That's a term. I don't know. <laughs> I like that how he did that, though. It's very... I hope to do that in the future, you know? We'll see. Okay, that's it. Give me more. Can I exploit him more? I want to exploit him more. That's it? Only 200,000? Give me at least 500,000 more for my efforts of dealing with you. Ugh. Is happy with this outcome. Give me more. <laughs> Give me more credits. I wanted to fully exploit him. Oh yeah, I got the bubble from... Do I even remember what event I did? I just like ran through all the events, so I actually don't know what I actually did. This... Oh, Critter Pick event. It's from the, uh... That. I forgot. <laughs> I have the puffball, but... I thought this was cute. Okay. I guess we'll go in order. Dream's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this... Makes sense, makes sense. To take down the family. Wait, wait. Okay. So how does he plan on taking them down? Wait, isn't that a clear connect the dots? That everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Why can't it be anything too out in the open? Because can't he just reveal Robin's death and be like or does that raise sympathy for the... Like, can't he just say like, Oh my god, can you believe it? Firefly is dead, but everyone's the family is saying hush hush about it. Can we trust the family? And then people would be like, do we trust the family? Oh my god, one of our own died. And then he could be like, oh my god, Robin is also dead and they covered it up for so long. And they'd be like, oh my god, the family really can't be trusted. We need a new leader. I'm building like the ideal case for adventure to get out of here quickly, you know? I don't know. Is that. Why is that not viable? Why? Am I just. An attack on the hotel guests? I knew that. I just clicked it to see the. Okay, I'm gonna kinda skip through this, sorry. He's definitely going for the family. It's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost 
Okay. Sorry, I'm only like skipping through the dialogue. You can pause to read. Aventurine has devoted considerable <clears throat> attention to her. But this galaxy ranger, we know hardly anything about her. Why? Because like Adventurine would be considerable roadblock in him figuring out. Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much. Yeah, respects me. I don't respect him. I think the family would have something to prepare against it because Oh. But then what was the purpose of Sparkle doing that? Did she do that of her own free will then? Impersonating Robin? I'm just or was it just like in any case, we have to be hmm. careful when handling a venturine. He's skilled and like what was Sparkle's purpose in doing that then? Just for funsies? Because she thought it would be fun to for identity theft? But just serious crime. It makes sense so that the family would probably be prepared against it. At this point, they probably would be. But I would have assumed that maybe he has a bigger purpose in mind then. If that is not his plan, it feels obvious, which is why if he's not following that plan, there must be a reason. Thank you for finding holes in what Henry says. Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone you or why he was stalking you. I still can't see Ming seriously. Which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Oh, just to mock him? Is it like her way of trying to get into the family then? Where she like trying to sneak her way in and be like, yeah. <laughs> That's true. She might honestly be doing it for funsies. Shireen's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity. That will never happen. With the way I am, <laughs> that ain't ever happening. However, I asked Don Hong back on <gasps> Don Hong? About the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Ackroyd? She's hot. <clears throat> Is this supposed to go back? I remember. Didn't Akron give us a list of questions in the beginning of the quest? I feel like I was supposed to... Remember. Why are we talking in red now? Why are we talking in red? <laughs> Does she also have the power to take away her memories? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. Eccentric, uh... unpredictable, and fond of being alone. <sighs> no wonder she's a suspect. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess Sparkle has her reasons, whatever they may be. Tone it down. Mm. It feels ominous, you standing there over that. And then over that. Has this music always been here? This random. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I Thank you. I feel like Marge is the only one that's truly on my side ever. She understands me. She thinks like me. Everything's just some horrible prank. I feel the same about Firefly. Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone <laughs> okay, so basically either you understand Sparkle or you don't understand her at all, which is... Um, 
um, family? No, no. After all, Faze brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Ah, uh, okay. Time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what happened. I guess we'll see. I feel like, yeah. So I don't know. Unreal. I, I like how well the characters are actually built in Hoiverse because I feel like, like especially in Pentagoni, everyone has like, it's like an onion. You peel out one layer, but there's like 10 layers under that. Oh. That's a good quote. Sometimes people just want to watch the world burn. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? Among the current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. It's also weird that I'm witness both of them. One thing I'm curious about is if a person dies in a dream, thank you. What happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest. I've been waiting for this since, like, since the moment Firefly died. I've been waiting for this. Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. It took me a bit of time, but we got here. There are still some things worth focusing on inside. Can you give us a hint before you like just like leave without explaining anything? Can you like? You don't question that, Himiko. Uh, I know trust, but like, I want to know what you want to investigate. Mom and dad. I want to see mom and dad on a mission together. <laughs> no, dad, don't. Dad, don't leave. Don't leave. I guess we have to. Could you come out for a second? Huh? She was here the whole time? She didn't say hi? I'd be embarrassed too. <laughs> and stared out like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Well. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I mean, I can understand why people. She's like. It's like borderline though, like. Is there something about my name? Like, if she had the intention of like slight shift and like wanting to take people's lives it would have been like literally she could have been a murderer for those reasons i mean she might be for all we know but some claim that you're the real culprit behind they are not the real culprit only for theft of multiple hearts mine included i'm gonna stop i need to <clears throat> On my fan girlie. of Everflame Mansion. Uh huh. Tragic fate. I guess we really did know, did not know if the Duke was actually killed. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain. Yeah, he died. Yeah, he turned it into flames, which. What's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. I should wait. That's like, isn't that like a half truth? Sorry, two things. First off, isn't that like the um isn't that like half truth, half lie where it's like he did really turn into flames, but those flames actually doesn't mean he died kind of thing. Also, um what the heck is a black hole? Black black hole. Black hole. Nihil huh, nihil oh wait, I forgot he's a nihility. I forgot. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. That's a valid assumption. Just so assume that she's just... No, Miss Acheron, she just likes to create chaos. She's like... A wise move. Just a As chaotic a person. Threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. <laughs> Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. 
That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be. We get to know? Do we get to know? Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill the name's final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been worth it. I thought we could have more. Still, more. I'm to reveal your truth. Yeah, I want to know who you are. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Oh, uh, I'm sure you could. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. <laughs> okay. I'll wait for that aha moment. <clears throat> Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She's fine. She's worried about me. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try to find that legacy. <laughs> And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. If Blade or Acheron never wanted that legacy, they can take it. I don't need it. The secret of Panacone. <sighs> may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Ooh. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me. We could find the proof to support this claim together. Mm. Sister Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me <laughs> alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's That's okay. I mean... Sparkle, I understand. Adventuring. Want something to drink. Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's actually a drink. Wake the heck up. Is the conversation coming up? Um. Uh. last forever. Huh? How is it? Like you're actually planning to hold him for like forever? I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. This feels like she the tiniest lord ops. Keeping silent, chugging down a couple mm. cups and the heck up. I, uh, yeah. It's a pungent I don't know. I feel like I don't. He's imaginary, right? Allergic to soul grind. Oh, sorry. She said, really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Guest rooms are <laughs> Your black swan is back. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They try that thing was interesting. Other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. Ah, pause, pause, pause. The gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Before does she does her whole revealing thing? Hold on. First invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She was sat in the corner, keeping silent, turning around her uh, told us pungent bear beverage, not the taste of sweet juice, and a few people are drinking. So, uh, and she said, really, but I don't taste a difference at all. Guest rooms are charmingly minimalist, and aesthetic you share.
The first invitation was in the banquet hall. The invitation received by the invitation. Wait, so she went to Duke Inferno to steal his invitation? To the banquet? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> Whoa! This is Ifrit. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one. Is I'm sorry. Why is she standing here doing this whole talk? Also, it's funny how this. Oh, never mind. Abruptly interrupted. Then what happened next is. This is her detective mode. I, I can't understand any of this. That's a cool scene. <laughs> That's a really cool scene. Also, it looks like I'm pulling for someone now. Everplane Mansion has set out on a journey. Those four people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. I just had a weird thought, but whoa. Well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Who the heck is she talking to? To herself? Rondo? What happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way... She deleted stuff? Someone deleted stuff? It's like it's been erased. Other Acheron, question mark? Yeah, that's nice. I feel like literally the Everflame was like... Mentioned once. It's Ooh. No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the cremators? Just too much. My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. Have we heard of Constance before? Unforgettable time together. Who the heck is Constance? I feel like that's a line I've said before. Also, Constance? Constance? This is like too much like blanks that I'm not this feels like a important, like a lot of lore girl, but I'm just it's like adventuring, you know, pulling pieces in random places. Oh, she was. That is actually terrifying. Wait, I need to look at her. Hold on. That is loud. Loud. Oh, loud. Please, next line. Oh, can it stop? 
Can the ringing stop? Thank you. Oh. I didn't even know what happened. Oh, POV! Hold on, hold on. The IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Peace Charter. Okay, I give up. I. The formation. The Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. I vaguely remember her, but I feel like I remember the, I don't remember them that clearly. Turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Prusian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for Isn't this where, um... Constantly faced with the threat of impact... He's from? Celestial object. Wasn't this the thing that, um... That Sparkle was commenting about that... And he said she didn't like? Uh, I can't understand this. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'll probably rewatch my own stream like ten times in order to understand this. Just keep going. I'm not gonna understand this. My my brain is not. Species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes. It is right. Okay, yeah. As they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. Also, it's like weird because it's like you're a little four. But say, say, yeah, I forgot what it's called already. Sigonia. Sigonia 4. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm. Is this him? Burned by all the gods. Is that his original? Wait. But not water. Lightning. But not rain. Blood. But not. Us with your falling stars, you lash us with wind and storm, you chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of plenty, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Too much info. Too much info. I knew this was coming, and yet I still feel like I'm not prepared for this. I don't know what to do with all this. I feel like I just... So many name drops, but I don't know what any of them mean. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping I don't... Wait, so I was in the And where my husband went. Ooh. Wait, is that... Assuming Kana, I don't ask the VA for different boys. Question mark. Baby swaddled sweetly asleep. Hey, I would search it, but I can't search. Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting. This is just... Otherwise, why would this child be born to face it? This is backstory, right? Adventure and backstory. Mommy, mommy. So cute though. Very much an info overload. I don't know much about the VAs, honestly. Especially dubbed. I mostly play in English. But. Also, hello. Okay, distracted. Rain, rain. I don't know what the full purpose of this seat. I guess maybe another one. Like, what if we ever go to this?
Gaitra Cyclops. Maybe that's supposed to be like a reference to Greek? Because, like. Oh, his name is Abjad. Wait, his actual name is Abjad? Oh, I was... Well, t oh, Triclops. I can see it. It does kind of sound like... It sounds like Gyatra, but the way it's spelled is almost like Gia. And then Triclops makes me think of a Cyclops, and then I'm just, like, piecing weird things together. I don't know. Oh. But what? So he's happy that his race has been- also- oh, I can't say anything about that, actually. Oh, never mind. Two out in, yeah. Oh, this is after the IPC came. Wait, the IPC brought rain? Boss, may the god close our eyes three times, close our eyes three times. Keep a blood eternally pulsing, let your journey be for. Huh. You plan for your son to be a schemer? That's actually super sad. <sighs> Time to oh, a childhood dream. Gambler. I want to know his name. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that would change oh, that much my soul. thoughts about him, but. I didn't expect you to be back so soon. <laughs> oh, really? Can't find anything? Maybe I need to rewatch that again. I don't think I've gotten far enough into Honkai Impact to actually know. Like, I've been like the first very beginning, like first 10 chapters. So I don't think I can figure out them. Maybe once I know them, maybe I will, but. They must be clean. Of course. Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. You tried to die? I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced to wake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Oh. And you must have heard about the memory zone me. When I graciously deigned Sorry. to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of So he's trying to dig into the secrets through Besides Robin, Robin was, and another body. Heard that. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. I forgot he didn't know about Firefly. This murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC. Well, it mentions Kevin and Project Stigma. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stammon was all ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I haven't fully met Kevin. I know of Kevin's existence. I've never actually fully met Kevin, and I do not at all know what Project Stigma is. So, I need to play more Honkai Impact. <laughs> I started playing because I wanted to get into lore, but it's also long because I had to catch up on seven years worth of lore. Seven years. But it'd be best to choose carefully. Most straightforward. Oops. It has to be Robin. Need to click that. Remember, that masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. You're following the words of Sparkle. You're actually following her words. What she calls mute. 
she has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather Whoa. by the presence of the harmony. Wait, that's interesting. Of course, from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet mm. her. But she died. Right before my very own. Oh, I did hear about that. That Kevin's um, BA had been a narrator or something. It seems to have resulted in your rather unfortunate ah. arrival on the interrogation stand. There interesting. Were interesting. And the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch. Ooh, I hate that I was crossing my hands like Dr. Horatio. <laughs> I noticed it, I hated it. Do you reckon I love that. If you ever want to understand me and my relationship with Honkai and Honkai Star Rail, know this. I hate Sampo with all my being. I don't like this Dr. Ratio. I love Blade, I love Dunhung, and I love Acheron. That's it. That's the simple summary of... Actually, yeah, that is very accurate. That man wants to see you again. Oh, yeah. Honkai in fact doesn't know. Oh, I guess then you only kind of like understand that from the Japanese trailer. The reference, I guess. Well, I guess you can't do anything about the messenger. Really? There was a certain someone that was just talking about making the dead talk. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. I've had. Without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. It's okay. I'll get to play as Akron soon. I'll get to play as Akron soon. I'll get to play as Akron soon. Get to play as Akron soon. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family. Oh, Dewlight Pavilion. The place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress. <laughs> oh, I like uh, this. Maripede. I Sorry. dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This that was too complex. Normally belongs to Sunday. Chicken boy. Without his express. All right, Sunday morning. Ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc. Anyway. <sighs> Who's to say I won't sell you out? That's true. I don't trust him either. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Mm. Actually, I have, have no doubt about that. Hold your tongue. Sorry, has Doctor Ratio been here before? The family. Uh, do you like frequent it here often? This person in your team. Oh my god, that's so complicated. Wait, so you can actually switch between multiple at the same time? Like, I can actually switch back to Trailblazer? Wait, can I try? Is that gonna mess things up? But if, if I change out, no, that's interesting. I'm. <laughs> Can I? 
Can I? Am I going to mess things up significantly? Actually, hmm. Hang with this man though. No. He snaps. I guess I like that you can try out his kit. Can't get distracted. And he please remind me. That's kinda cool. <laughs> How he just snaps it. It's just like Alright, you sure there's no risk? Wait, can I actually try switching? I'm curious. Like, will it mess with stuff? Oh. Sneeze. Whoa. I guess then I'll just put back down, huh? Can I try? I'm gonna try. Screw it. I'm kind of curious. Wait, do I get to play as both quests? Oh, no, I don't. I have to actually go to it. I like that typing thing. That's kind of cool. Anyways, okay. I guess we have to talk to it. Hendrick. Hey you two! That's a place of business. Uh -huh. Totally not breaking an entrance. By Mr. Sunday to bring him suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my huh? pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. Don't crush his dreams. That's Jeez. Exactly. Uh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Yeah, don't keep him waiting. It seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Mm hmm Uh huh. I think I can't come up with a comeback for that. Gotta get my chest first. Ah! I knew it. The door is shut tight. Looks like that I mean there isn't a door. How did you get in before? I might the skip some lines, but the family built the administrative site deep in the Ooh. dream city with the mechanisms hidden in these nightingale statues. The direction nightingale of the can be controlled. That feels special. On the previous occasion. An attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Can we? Do you want to take down the building? Uh, I'm glad I could take my chest. I just wanted my chest. For my lovely dear Akron. Wait, can we? Can we get a check? It's almost 200, 200 off. The heck? Ooh, that's pretty. Is that like a peacock? Whoa, that's pretty. And a parrot. Oh. Distracted. <clears throat> no more distractions. Can't be distracted. Huh? Oh, not this again. Just. Oh, he's 
scared me. I guess we're gonna test out this team. And pray. I'm gonna auto fight this. New bosses? I I have a request, a sincere request to make. A sincere request to make of um Hoyaverse. Please make a button that's faster than two times speed. Because I feel like even two times speed is too slow now. He's tanky. Why is so tanky? This became very chill. <clears throat> also, I guess it is almost time. It's almost been two hours. Yes. Dead. Also, Mandy, you're a Kirby. Keycap is looking so cute, especially in the dark. It feels like it, it looks so interesting. I don't know if I can. It looks very cool, that's all. It's like it's almost glowing in the dark. I guess, thank you for stealing his boots. <sighs> to be wary of that, <clears throat> the fact that there's a thing right there. Oh, I did not pay attention at all to the arrows. Holy fork. Ooh. That scared me. That scared me. So they turn into random enemies? everyone doing it feels very I I guess like when it was like all that why I don't like this go oh never mind that was a lot <laughs> faster than I thought it would go uh, go No panic. I feel like okay. I need to recharge energy. I'm starting to lose it. I knew I was gonna get tired at some point. I'm starting to hit it. Apparently, my limit is an hour and fifty minutes. I already brought the coffee up. By the way, that's the only reason why I'm actually able to talk. Mind me, snacking on food. 
because I'm snacking hungry. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh! Sorry, how did Dunhong end up at 134 health? Adventuring did not do his job properly. Sorry, is there a TP nearby? I guess not. Quick change, I'll be back. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll come back up. It's fine. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. No one saw that. Actually, if I leave it here, will I have to continue from here? Let me just try. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I'm just going to leave it here and then switch. See if we change back. Okay, that's fine. I'm just not gonna care too much about his auto. I mean, I'm just gonna heal if I need to. And pray that Dunhung doesn't die, if not... Feeling lucky. Did not mean to do that. Is he doing yoga? Or... Not yoga, the thing. I'm not finding that thing. Also, I realized now this whole time I could've just used Sparkle and been okay. But I'm a dum dum like that. I forgot I have sparkles. E, <laughs> cause sparkle exists. Oh, whoops. Go back. Yeah. Okay. I totally forgot about Sparkle's E for some reason. I probably should not have. Nightingales facing in different directions. Mm. An obvious hint. Mm. Are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? Hmm? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. The heck are torment eagles? There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Wait, so the nightingales are a family? Like the oak family? And the bloodhounds? That kind of thing? Oh, thank goodness we can check. Alright. If I remember correctly. This one was Ward. This one was also Ford. Um, that one was supposed to be facing the wall. And then I forgot the rest. Oh, that one's Ford. You had to be facing Ford, so turn clockwise. One more time. Uh, you're facing the wall. You reflect upon the decisions that you have made today. Just as I but isn't this supposed to be um a truly miraculous discovery? Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join. Don't join. I would hate, dislike you even more, Venture. Really? Um, <laughs> are the Nightingale family like? Uh, I mean, sorry, isn't this where Sunday lives, though? Am I wrong? I thought if Sunday lives here, but he's not part of the Nightingale family situation, is he? Why? Oh no. Impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Reserve. Do you need me to remind you oh, he is? Wait, I... Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. I need a clarification. What's the difference between the family and the multiple families that are in Penicone? 
All right, that's that self-explanatory. But what the heck is the family? Like, is it also a group of individuals? But, and then they rule over other, the, all of Penacony, and the people of Penacony have kind of split up into like, or there's like five big families in Pentagoni? Question mark? Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> the Sunday must have thought the same. Bang. Let's head down. Well, so isn't that the... Oh, that's... Okay, so here's the lovely thing I'm gonna do. It's called sparkle. And pray. <laughs> Sparkle and pray. Watch this. I really want Akron so I can do her e thing, her E. Where I can, um, insta-kill people. Speaking of which, I think maybe this is it. No, it's not. Oh, so like, kind of like the heads of each small family make up the main family kind of thing? Also, I'm only doing this so I can... Well, Stellar jades but um no yeah stellar jades that's the only reason that's it. it will have to do I hear chest. I want chest. Stop complaining. Be grateful. Ooh. Where the heck am I going? Wrong way. I'm not going there. Whatever. Why are there so many of these? So many. Uh, I know there's a bird there, but I'm just trying to... Is that above me? What the heck is that thing walking? Oh! Huh, okay. Ahem, <clears throat> anyways. Can't get distracted. Can't get distracted. Huh? What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. I thought you knew the directions. Or did you make an appointment with him? You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. And you can't figure out the trial? Wrong. We need to find a way to open the store in the hall, or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My I actually like escape rooms too. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sand pit. The heck is a sand pit? What sand pit? Oh, this That's thing? An enormous sand pit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. I hope you burn them all adventuring. Sorry. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Oh, 
with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. <laughs> Let's look around. When I see it, I will know. So you don't remember. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a I'm gonna quickly go get the now? bird? <sighs> Sorry. Don't hide somewhere sneakier. Go back to your family so I can get my stellar jades. Oh, it's that thing. I should do the puzzles. Oops. Is this supposed to be? Oh, yeah, it is. this now you see me now you don't I like you don't see me at all oh I really hate this, this is area it. is that a picture of Robin Sorry, I probably will do some chest farming stuff just because I want um, a Karan. <laughs> just because I want her that badly. I mean, maybe I should be okay by now. Oh, just a little bit more. Maybe I can do probably a full 100 bulls by today. But it's not gonna attention to this way. It is. Watch this. Hanu? There's a Hanu situation. Why though? I'm glad I got sparkle with all fiber of my being. What the heck is that buzzing? What the heck did I just hear? Oh. Get out of there. Why is this puzzle not at all difficult? What the heck? I see. And then... Actually, what's the purpose of me doing this? Oh. I see for the moolah. Okay, so I have to go up this way, but I need my points back. I can't go this way. Sorry. Oh 
Okay, so there's two here that we can fully ignore. We just need this balloon and then something further. Oh, we have to go that way. Right. Planning out sparkles. Oh my god, there's so many of them here. Oh, I can't jump! Come, come at me. Oh, you can't come at me? He can't come at me. Wow. I thought he could come at me, but he can't. Turns out he's weak. Oh. I used the wrong character to do that. <laughs> Who the heck is that clock thing? I'm glad they added new bosses though. And the idea of a boss that can be other bosses or enemies, sorry. Really? This round he's doing pretty well. The shielding is pretty good. That was just the first round, bro. These bosses, huh? Uh, those things are tough to deal with. I always do this, but I see like a lightning weakness and imaginary weakness and I'm like, oh yeah, I can totally use my Dunhung team for this because Ting Yun's in there. That way I can also hit the lightning weakness. She doesn't actually hit lightning. And it's a bad habit of mine to like just think that way that like, oh yeah, she's gonna do a lot of the lightning damage. She doesn't because she supports more. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Man, this team is not that bad. It's a different direction, but <laughs> I see why um I forgot who, but someone said that they are wanted. They're gonna get E2 adventuring. I can understand why now. He's actually pretty good. 
Especially because I feel like the only one we have right now is like, um, where am I going? Hanu. Oh, I actually have to do the whole Hanu thing. Oh, this is it. Wait, so then what is Hanu's purpose? Wait. Oh, to get the chest on the other side, maybe? Get that ammo We have to wait patiently for the guy to come back. Come back. Oh, well. At least we're almost there. Thank you for my ammo. And thank you for my wondrous chest. Like there should have been something there, but okay. Oh, I have to run all the way back now. That's it, right? Great. I don't think you did. I'm still in the thingamabob, the area. That made zero sense. The um, area trying to get the thing. I'm just puzzling. Puzzling through the brain. How much longer do I have to that cutscene? Annie. Well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. 
You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who pass through it. If mm. I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Thank you for teleporting us back to the lobby. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, this reminds me of one of those. I, it's not gonna go that quickly. Thing with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with. Okay, but is it? Is it? I guess just this next part, and then. Stacking chips. Or I guess what's an approximate? Assume I do the puzzles because I need the stellar yeah, jigs. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> what the heck? So, what's next? Open the door. Oh, we have to. Whoa! Wait, that's cool. We have to enter the sand pit. Wait, this is so cool. I hate that Doctor Ratio is like towering over me, but um. work for us just find a way to slip me into sunday's collar and i'll infiltrate the family just like that can he hear you oh fine i was just kidding i mean that was a let's find a way to open the door. idea what the heck are wrong with these people though is this a glitch or actually supposed to happen This is a really good model of Golden Hour. Wait, we. Th That's so cool. It's like just Idean Park and a few other places around it. Oh. Thank you for your fortune. Oh, I guess they don't work, the models. This is it. This is the cursed place where we met Sampo. I really can't tell if these are- oh, they're glitched. <laughs> is Sunday just, um, still building this or something? So it's a little work in progress. I like that this thing's here though. Oh, the gambling machines are gone. And they're just funnels of soul blood decoration. Oh, they're definitely glitched. <laughs> what the heck is this? What the heck is this? <laughs> oh my god, it's actually so glitched. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Oh, and this person just saying I'm industrial scum while laying on the floor is just... This is both creepy and cool. It's like cool in the sense like, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I don't know in what sense this is. Wait, no, no, It's kind of, it's just feel like they're all watching over you. For some weird reason. Okay, I'm getting this. Oh, run, run, run! For God's sake! <laughs> I just felt my life flash before my eyes. 
Oh my god, too much exploring. I'm just gonna get the main puzzles and stuff. I don't wanna fight. I don't want no fighting. I just wanna get my stellar jades and get out of here. I don't wanna cause you any harm. Mm -hmm. yum, yum, yum. Yeah. These NPCs are. I don't know. It's just like it feels weird. Like, thank you for saying that you're an NPC. It totally did not could not tell that. It just feels like it's weird because they're everywhere, kind of just staring at you. But at the same time, like it's pretty funny. Oh, these are actually. I'm actually surprised. It's actually pretty cool. It's a really cool idea, at least. Oh, dang it. I should have done this first. Now I have to run all the way back. Oh, I have to actually talk to NPCs now? Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. There's my explanation. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour. It's also... Yeah, they are all TP... T posing. I was gonna say TP. Um. One thing I was gonna say, it's weird that they call themselves soldiers, because it feels like then Sunday's building himself a miniature army of NPCs that he can actually make big and then actually have soldiers. Like a full fledged army of men in suits. For what purpose? I don't know. Um. But that is interesting. Come and tell me about the tour. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Base model. <laughs> oh, so this feels like Baymax, you know, when Baymax was glitching, or like when he was out of battery, he was like. No battery. <laughs> oh my god, that's what this reminds me of. Oh, the voice acting for that is done so well. Um, I was also gonna say something else, but I forgot what I was thinking when I got distracted by the glitching. Oh, I was saying that Sunday really needs to hire someone to fix that. <clears throat> Model. Happy to be of service. On a scale of on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> I love the VA for this. Oh my god. Oh, the VA is spectacular. They must have had so much fun doing this. There should be a rapper. My door. No. You get five stars from me, okay? Oh my God. No! Rest in peace! Rest in peace! Today we are here to, to honor the loss of the great Oak family soldier. He has a name that we do not know, but we shall honor his name and the gracious VA that allowed him to speak. Beautiful and beautiful melodies. May he rest here in peace. Farewell. I'm gonna go get my capsule machine thing <laughs> for the capsule ma ma machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? That was actually, oh my god. Do me a favor.
Because that is terrifying. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. The funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison. Right where he can see it. First thing in the morning. Insecure much? <laughs> Is that just supposed to be exaggeration, the bold text? I have to actually go here. Okay, I can grab it and go. I can grab it and go. I can do this. Priorities. I love you, Sparkle, so much. So much, because you allow me to do that. <laughs> the fact that there's like real audio in here, though, I had a gigantic bird looking up at you. <laughs> Machine base here, and it's empty too. So sorry, did like Stop. Sunday come here knowing we were gonna come here before 2.1, and then just decide to like I don't know take apart every single thing right for us to fix it all for him again? This is still his perspective, though? That's cool. Haha, <clears throat> sucker, I'm gonna leave you here. Sorry, I hate Dr. Reishi even more. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, I strongly dislike Dr. Reishi even more. I don't know what I'm saying. About... Wanting to... Oh! Oh, my fork! <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> At least I got it. <laughs> but I jumped so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot about ratio. Whoops. We don't have a DPS, but that's fine. Actually, isn't this man a DPS? <sighs> I hate that I have to play it with him. Thank goodness we have Bocha, actually. Not this team would be screwed. I feel like we should give the the NPC a name. Sorry, it's Baymax. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna call him Baymax from now on. I should have named him at his funeral. Dang it. Or, when I meet Sunday, I'm gonna petition him to fix, um, fix Baymax first. I like I can't call him Baymax directly. Bay. Max. It's Max. Max makes this. Oh, there's another one. Sparkle, why are you like these? Will you be okay? Do you turn around? Do you walk toward me? We're fine. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Oh, 
We have to run. Ready? Run! Run! Oh, freaking, oh my god. Stress, anxiety, oh my god. Well, that's what I get from wanting to avoid bosses. I mean, enemies. Okay, see, when you look at it this way, Dr. Ratio doesn't seem that big. But I guess, like, on a scale, like, he would be, like, this tall from here to the floor. Okay, maybe it is small. This is a cutscene. That's terrifying. That is very terrifying. Thanks, Doc. I forgot how to play this thing. Was that the cutscene? What was the cutscene? That cutscene? Thank you very much. I shall enjoy them so much. Hold on, I'll be back. Give me a minute. One minute. Oi. Oh my god, I've been sitting for too long. I know I was sorry sorry to sparkle. Oh. <clears throat> oh I, never mind. I understand now. You should come in here and take a look. You here is breathtaking. Honestly, you should. You would solve so many of our problems. <laughs> Can I say that is my wish since I am him right now? Does it work like that? Heck was the purpose of this thing? Oh, am I supposed to go this way? Oh, I see. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm not gonna go there. I think the coffee really has up. around 30 more minutes. Okay. 30 is fine. That's plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. Oh. The joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. Let's go say goodbye to Max one more time. Oh, <gasps> no way. Max is gone. Wait, no, Max is gone. Oh, no. I guess he's been taken away. We don't, we will never know, will we? What happened to Max? The poor... I don't know if I want to go back there. <clears throat> oh, 
Our favorite, uh, the poor, poor soul that tried his hardest. Through the door, through the door. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. <laughs> I'm glad these two don't really like each other. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily. Wait, so does this mean like every single time he has a guest, he has to like reset this whole puzzle for them? Like, like, does he go out there, take all the pieces and undo it or what? Like, I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. And you're using benefit. And I think I know what it is. Actually, well, I kind of saw it. Okay. <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Sorry, is Dr. Risha not part of the IPC? Because the more he's talking, the more I'm like, why the heck is he going against his own... his own... thing? Do you mean the galaxy reign... Who? Oh. Wow, adventuring really is hellbent on that was just an Akron, huh? Doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better mm. to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. If you're calling me friend, this is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rift in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? Oh, so Sunday's like the head of the Nightingales, along with his and his sisters also in the Nightingales. But like, um. Whoa, what? The grandest oh. death. Huh. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh, I guess like win if you don't play. Uh, Sunday's like the head of oh, the, the Nightingale, so he's in the family. Whereas Robin was just in the Nightingale's question mark, or is she also in the family? Gambler. Okay, it's time to meet Sunday. Chicken boy. Hi, um, in honor of Max, could you please restore Max? I lost Max entirely at some point. My puzzles are too effortless for you, <clears throat> IPC ambassador. I appreciate it. <laughs> And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me. I see the W, Annie. I see it. However, this is no way to. Oh my God! <laughs> this oh. is an invitation, but a summoning. <clears throat> Should I pause? Speak. I need to test your character. Should I pause? I can pause. Wait a little. Chat a little. Um. I can see it in the corner. <laughs> so look at this this W smile, oh my god. <laughs> oh it's funny. It's, I don't think Mandy is here. If she's here I can't see her. <clears throat> okay. If not, she can watch the recap of me. Go back in the live stream. Oh. You ought to know this better than I do. He 
has already faithfully fulfilled his duties. Dr. Ratio is just standing to the side. Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, Sorry. virtuous. Who's a doctor? Oh, Dr. Ratio? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot he's a doctor. <laughs> forgot he's a doctor. Mr. Aventurine, you're diligent. Generous and willing to cooperate. Sorry, are your thing ears pierced? Many obstacles just Have I seen this wrong? I'm just staring at Sunday. Like I'm not even paying attention to what's being said. I'm just noticing details. One thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Tragedy, Robin's case. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? No, he has a ooh, not, W smile. I'm on your side. How does that mean he's not doing well? If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. Wait, it is pierced. Wait, his wing ears are pierced. That is interesting. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Ow. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. She can't sing anymore equals oh, she's dead. Oh, Many I see, I'm sorry. Many suspects among the outsiders, but I know. Wait, that's a good point. I guess Robin, is she dead in the real world? Preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. The heck is that cornerstone for? Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured <gasps> asset. That was what investment. the box was. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. Whoa. Precious. It probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. I agree. You should well, take sure some money from him the for it. level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to life. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. That is OCD. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. Dang, that's some underhanded risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure. See, so that smile was not that bad. If he had done the W smile, then I would have. After all. A merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money, but before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for, what exactly is stored in it? What? 
so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <laughs> what like a truth serum. Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Dang, Sunday knows how to play. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You too are. It looks like Oz kind of. Oh. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over? No. Yes. Oh. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Brady. Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Wow, he went deep. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. I'm confused on how this defends his honor, but okay. And why? Please. He's gonna throw it to Dr. Ratio. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh. Since you came as promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? Oh, so basically Dr. Ratio sold out Adventurine. What makes you think you can convince me? I think. Unless... I you haven't enjoyed Mr. Adventurine's company. I also understand that you're an yeah. avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position. And wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Petty pride. If you is it like Sunday's not allowed to open the box on his own, so he had to have adventuring open it for him? Besides the family, 
No other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Wait, so they're hiding the stuff? Pause, pause, pause. Pause. I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. So the family has a Stellaron and they've been keeping it secret? Is that what it is? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. Oh, so you need your cornerstone in order to fight kind of thing? investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered, was it really his? You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The ten stone hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very I don't understand their purpose. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. Cornerstones. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Oh uh, yeah, Sunday can't open the box. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Is this supposed to be like... Oh. Its color and glow are similar to that of Clipoth's body. Wait. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stonehearts chisel their own will into the cornerstone. Granting them an unparalleled radiance. Okay, wait, I was gonna say, um, first off, uh, who is Clipoth again? Destruction? Preservation? Who is he the Yano? I forget. Um, and I feel like that might help us find out who it is. If we know all the IPC people, maybe it might have helped. But also, it's probably someone we haven't met, right? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe it is someone we haven't met. But there was also a green stone, so where did the green stone come from? And this golden statue is also known as Topaz. I was right! It does belong to Topaz. Wait, so he actually stole Topaz's? Oh, it was preservation. Is Topaz of preservation? Wait. Oh, never mind. Oh, then I guess it doesn't matter. Not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. But okay, so he did find his cornerstone. This place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Mm. This bag, mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift of money. 
this is a gamble. One he's all too familiar with. Oh. So he, yeah, so he wanted what he wanted was the his own cornerstone, but he had topazes, so he was willing to give topazes and play it up as the one he really wants and gave it up to get oh, okay, okay. I get it. I still don't understand why he gave his cornerstone in the first place if he wants it back. Unless it was confiscated actually. I hope he retreats in humiliation. Sunday is a lot scarier than I thought if I'm being honest. Your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. What? You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. No idea how it works, but okay, if it and works, it works. Represents. But is it built upon constraint and coercion? That's beautiful. <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my- Why is he gonna die though? Why does he only have 17 system hours? You will be I, oh, I guess that's why he wanted to back his stone. And be with your family. But he had to give it- why did he give it up in the first place? You will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. So they're trying to recruit him into you harmony? To help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective i will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours dang when the time comes compare your findings with mine if both our findings align or if you can provide me more insights then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty he's actually terrifying you took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal. Oh, so if he helps, he'll like be saved. Whereas if he doesn't help, then he'll just die and go to hell. Mm. But like, I, I'm still confused, one, on why he's dying, and two, why he gave his cornerstone away if he knew he's gonna need it back. And also, I guess, what the frick that bird needs to do. an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kabasha, where did you go? Oh, are you dead? Hang on your back, sister. Hold on. 
Rose's sister. One, he is dying because he was under the psychedelic comedy power thing. Uh, he was like putting him under trial and she's... So it's like he's gonna be executed? Oh. Uh. Uh. That makes sense. Died in their hands. This is just a necklace. Um, yeah, I don't know why he had to give up his stone though in the first place. If it would have only led him to death. By the way, and I'm also curious if he's actually going to die the same way that Robin did, or if it's like going to be a natural death, or what kind of death is going to be. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Alright, sounds good. I'll probably be a little more muted. I'm surprised I still have the energy, if I'm being honest, but... Was that like when like he first entered Pentacony? Oh, is that why he was like lying about it? That like he he was like lying saying that like oh yeah when I came to Pentacony I like gave it to them but like in reality we'll swear to Gaiathera Triclops to protect us well. I don't wanna see death, please no death. Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gaiathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. But the moment she closed her eyes, sister. Everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. Every rain for was Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace. And how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Dang, that's dark. Guess we're back to this. Probably be playing. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. For about another hour. Just as we'll I see. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. 
Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Okay. Please let me know. I'll we play Oh, I'm almost there. I apologize. The hotel does not have access. Am I would I be about like halfway then? Is it time for Gallagher? We know who to look for next. We can I think it is. For information. Thank you for your the good thing is, now that I've... By the way, I can actually, maybe I'll work on Gallagher's on stream. Or the quest on stream. Because I'm kind of scared. Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to totally. a spectacular show for all of you. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. She'll totally be able to. No one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway. She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. Shouldn't we talk to the she people who we originally met from the Bloodhound? How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Um, I guess. The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Uh, who are you guys? Uh. Bravo team! No, no. The designated position. Ready to execute our oh, are not these bozos. <laughs> Armed evacuation. Dick relief after that. <laughs> what authority do you have for that? Topaz! Are you back for your stone? Nice to see her, though. Properly go over how this incident report should be written. I feel bad. He's gonna get disciplinary action. Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. The train has told me a lot about your happenings. Try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <sighs> yes. All right. Was it a ploy to force yes. Topaz to also come? The IPC isn't very popular here in Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. 
The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. Only a bunch of green carries an invitation. And he's alone. about to die. An entourage like us. We can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> I had a storm to go empty. <laughs> I'm like turning to blank out. Spotlight off me. Ah. Scared out is really uncomfortable. I think three hours is my like good limit limit, you know. Okay. Sanity check. Okay. I guess we're okay then. You can do a hundred pulls today. Yay! And I'll save the rest for tomorrow. I'll actually probably just do the hundred pulls today. Ooh, sorry, Topaz. Okay. Hello. Now does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. I don't know why, but he has your cornerstone and um, he may have given it to the family. He has given it to the family. Dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and that's true I guess this is weirdly the first time he has lost a gamble as for the two cases apologies but I don't have much info on them either all I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details Captain Zoidus. We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. That's precisely why we need to talk to you. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Pentacle. We've got the right one this time. <laughs> wow. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. What, what tells you that we don't have anything important? I'm sorry, watch. <laughs> and it's our lunch break. Mm, hungry. That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to you? Oh, going to the captain is probably the fastest. I also kind of want to see Gallagher, so. Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. <laughs> what murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. So he was, he was in Dream's Edge. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher, the one she mentioned, right? Gallagher, Gallagher. <clears throat> Sorry, quick. Uh... Tight security. 
security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Gallagher. Gallagher. Where could he be? It's actually right there. I'm just... Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized. I feel kind of embarrassed that this guy had to see me inching. Sparkle forward. I think I've seen you before. Yeah, you know me. The, the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked Are that. You for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the picture he paints is like we were just like friendship, friendship. You need friendship in your lives. <laughs> Oh, that's a weird picture to pay. Himiko, March, don't, don't, don't take it the wrong way, okay, please? <laughs> Oops, sorry, didn't mean to click that. I didn't commit any heinous crimes. I thought you trusted me. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this, Mr. Gallagher? Exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Huh? Even the one with the gray hair. He's the man over there. Uh, he didn't send you all here. It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. He never gave his name. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Like, is Gallagher not part of the family? But, like, someone from the Bloodhound is part of the family? There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, <clears throat> right? We're really sorry for troubling you. Let's think of another way. Change his emo dial again. March and I, same bra brain wavelength. Same brain, so. I just. Just what I've been waiting for. I can't believe she's willing to. But the thing is that. Oh. Hi. Let me through. Let me see what time it is. Whoa, it's this time already. What? All right. Time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. Clock out, clock out, clock out. Clock it in, clock out. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. I like that. We just had to make him happy, and he leaves. He won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Gallagher, hello. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting. <laughs> Sorry us. for yawning. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. And you called her That's Miss. Me, sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden House. Sorry. I'm sorry for what I mean to do that. I guess I'm messing with the button. I mean, my mouse. <clears throat> This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. 
The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it in the hopes of getting justice for her. So Adventurine is looking into Robin and we're looking into Firefly and trying to compare how they died. It's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Like... The seems to be getting at something. A sparkle? Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Elsewhere. Venturine? Even after the <gasps> tragedy, is still running. Hey, Other than the family of the Harmony, it's I missed you so so much. The past like two hours without you on my screen. I have to stop stop fangirling. No. <clears throat> Can't fangirl. Too hard. A living idol. Each member okay. of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared identity. <clears throat> Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles. Offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. An interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. It sounds like the kind of comment an emanator makes. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Whoa! Oh, you say that, Miss Acheron. Oh, the beautiful never mind. dream is crumbling, but not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. So is it her swords that take her memory, question mark? Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clear. Take your time. And that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penicone. Ask away. We actually get to? <sighs> ah, okay. Daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. And they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it was Dang. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour. 
and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. There's no way that's... Firefly? Wait, wait, go back, go back. The magnificent garments that she had woven with her own hands. <sighs> Maybe it isn't her. Maybe it is her. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> it's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes, a hypothesis, I guess. Like or it's a random person. The economic heart of the dream NPC. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Funding blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely <sighs> in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who was willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank vault. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. Mm. So Akron's saying that, like, it isn't the actual, like, a person or something that's tearing down Penacone, but it's just like, like, at some point you have to wake up from reality. So, like, those dreams are just naturally starting to fade and degrade and, like, like, it's almost like people have lost their humanity after being in their dream worlds for so long that something like that. Blue Hour is very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Anything Yang like has that? heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed to Dang. Finally, we retreated to the beach. Landscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there, too. And you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and he sold himself into like slavery becoming that person's very is that even considered slavery if he did it of his... a dozen times and i participated in his 13th that was the grandest banquet i had ever attended but never again did anyone cast another glance at him this time around there were no successful bids for him This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. 
I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of the Stivities. Watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Red. Miss Acheron, now it's my turn. Music stopped. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep... I'm assuming this is HI3 lore kind of stuff. ...a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual atom. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. Sorry, give me a second. I wanted to see the elf oh, from his homeland. Oh, okay. I think this is very much like... Um, yeah, I feel like it is HI3. I'm just like, or maybe it is actually in this world, but the Kevin of this world, but I don't know enough about the present in HI3 to understand this. Right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser. No, oh, this is the Icarus. Towards the sky. Thing that um, so I was talking about. With his fall. We can find it. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun. The oh yeah. That Mikazuki was talking about. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. Fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. Sorry, is she like just breaking? Like, whoa. She's actually bringing the world tree into this? I didn't think she would. I didn't think she knew about it. I thought only like Weld and someone like Locha would know about it. Oh? I too have embarked on journeys, encountering... Oh, I guess she would know if we're thinking Raiden. Destiny's hollow path, similar to mine. So I will tell you. Oh, yeah, it's like as Raiden. Be similar. The story you just told. It overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life. Alone. Spoilers for HI3? Question mark? Question mark? I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind. 
so long as I can alleviate your suspicion. There's something I still wish to know, Ms. Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Dang. Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, Is this like the most diplomatic piece of discussion I've ever seen? Before we continue on with this topic, would I be able to go back to the previous topic, expand on it a little bit, and then I can answer your question? The birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch the ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? She's talking about herself. Well, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> the screenshot. <clears throat> um, sorry, I should have screenshotted that. Towards the light. Mm. I think that's supposed to be an analogy to herself. Black Swan's perspective? Question mark. Is this still Trailblazers? Oh, she's back at the phone. I forgot we had this whole discussion. Who the heck is this? Voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. Oh yeah, isn't it? Wait. Oh <gasps> then you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to hear boot hill. <laughs> oh, I saw his face. As soon as as soon as I heard the voice, I saw the face and I was just like, whoa, they match. And okay, boot hill's after Akron, so immediately boot hill. I defend. I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, Is she? Wait, no. Yeah. How? I'm how do we know? Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. Boot <laughs> 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 Hill just ready to kill everyone. That's close to Acheron. So get that forehead clean. But you know the Galaxy Ranger. Yes. I have something to ask you. Are you asking me to write your will? Oh, stop trying to kill people. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become? Oh, is Boo Hill also Galaxy Ranger? I forgot. I don't remember. I don't know. I also don't know She's if weeks are out. Path of the hunt, but <clears throat> you are, aren't you? Tell me. I'm I don't know if that's actually deal. weeks or not. Oh well. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. Didn't realize how shiny Black Son's hair is. Just noticed that. Ah, uh, okay. Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, 
Isn't that, isn't that one from one of the memories that I've got, sir? Why is it gossiping? Oh, I forgot about the death sentence on his head. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed just tell me if you can't hold on any longer also i realized that this man does not have the um, genius of the council of mundanites wants to be has his own corner so so there's only certain people like topaz and adventurine and, and diamond i'm assuming yes and I'm not that much of a spoiler because we don't know who the heck diamond is anyways to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system nerves. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Yeah, how do you? What Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. Now they own the secrets of Pentecone. So I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Hmm. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. That's all I can say. Have you forgotten the doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Penicone. You've achieved what you desired. That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one, at that. Maybe I am. This is too much five head plotting that I can't handle. I feel like I'm disassociating half the time. Here, take this. The heck is that? It when you're on your last legs. Syringe, you're baby me. bottle. What's this? Medical advice? You catch on pretty fast, doctor. What was I saying? <laughs> He's without giving a single clue. How typical of you. Wouldn't get it, scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly. Oh, wow. We actually are in scary mode. Didn't mean to hit people. Also, this strangely, the like, the disassociating part almost looks like the, you know, the pulls when you pull and then when you get a five star like fragments, right? It almost feels like that. I can't tell if that's just like artwork sense or like something else could probably go for another like 15 minutes can I play this for 15 minutes I'm almost there okay I'm just gonna hand these out I guess then 
Sorry, keeping my eye out for chests. Oh, La Rose, hi. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Is Harmony not listening, kind of thing? See, I can't bear to see anyone yeah. in this train suffering from poverty. Okay. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> Oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're I realize adventure style is to find allies and make them work for him, basically. sort of coma nobody knows what caused it but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness well all customers are under the protection of the family after all thank you this will make for a very juicy headline may she they protect us she big <laughs> that's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream but unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Hi. That's okay. Um, you can rewatch the video. Go back to the part. I think it was around like an hour ago. <laughs> it was around an hour ago. So you can rewatch it in my. Yeah, but. No live, live reaction. These are all people who I helped. In Penacony. Um, if I remember though, what did I think about? I thought Sunday was a lot more cunning than I actually thought in the beginning. And I didn't have honestly that many big... Wow thoughts about it though. I thought it was just kind of interesting. And Sunday is definitely like a fox. A fox in sheep's clothes. Or a demon hiding the scut- wait. A, a demon with angel wings. That's what it is. Another fearless youngster looking for I've honestly been disassociating so much <laughs> that like half the information's going through, the other half is just like gone. I don't know what to comment on at this point. I feel like it's just so much information and my brain is just like I okay, I guess so. Did you drink by any chance? Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stuff in the <laughs> Pentacony movie in They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you I genuinely did think that Pentacony would have more movies. Well, I'll leave you behind. Theaters. I hope you have a wonderful day. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, I, I think it's a good thing for me to like go to sleep after, take a break. If I think if I had kept going at this hour, I would have died. I don't, I could not have lasted that long after. <gasps> Sorry, clicked it accidentally. The musica? Is 
Sorry, why is there a... Why is there a portal here? Oh, that's how it works. These are actually people we helped out, huh? People in Panicorni that we helped fix their emo dials. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Let worries lead. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Sure. Oh? <laughs> you. You're giving these gems to me? I didn't expect to meet such a generous Oh, I guess Woolsey's the answer? Or are you just kidding? Maybe. Well. Someone who knows about the animal death. <laughs> I know Bochi. Every time I see Bochi, I always think of Bochi the Rock. <laughs> oh, every single time. You really shouldn't drink so much soul blood, my friend. It's not good for your health. Bochi the other version. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul blood. Who the heck is the devil of soul blood, huh? The devil of soul blood? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. They say it loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yes. Very funny indeed. Very funny, Bochi. So funny. I am on the ground, dying of laughter. Oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Ah, darn it. <laughs> now I just want to take out my brain and use it as evidence. Oh. Wait, what? Time to smooth. Time to see if that girl will take the bait. Sorry, I'm trying to. I get some clues in the story. See if that girl. Huh? 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 If you ever find yourself in danger, remember. We'll see. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Music in my right, the right ear is kind of loud. Friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. Wow, I like how no one questioned about his condition. I have some business to attend to, but thank you all the same. All right then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out. Hounds. Just noticed his hound pin. You want to point things with my fingers, but I realize you can't see my hands pointing at the screen. As the most outstanding <clears throat> in Panicone, have you come across any astounding hounds recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panicone? I thought Woolsey. We've never yeah. Like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. What was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. <sighs> is there supposed to... Is our vision supposed to get blurry and blurrier? Oh, I can actually play as a venture. Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't have things. Aiden? Where, where are you? Is he not here? Wait, where's the guy that I buy the coins from? Oh, he's actually not here. Wait, what? Please do not 
Oh, I guess I can't interact with anyone else. I don't have any coins though for anything. Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Sensitive, got it. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garnet and melting his lead heart in the fire? Why does that sound like Dr. Ratio? I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Uh, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Hmm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Boy, you're looking worse and worse. I also vaguely remember this guy. And maybe you were? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. This? A gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? I guess it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, wow. but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Childhood trauma. I see. I see. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. Maybe trauma. I don't know if it's trauma indeed. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father? <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Maybe I want. Maybe it is trauma. just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. Who? He's an intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. Sorry, confused about... You do you. You do you. Life is beautiful and often unpredictable and the devil soul blood. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well surely death is a I can even make it sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Gems in my bag are running low. Oh, whoops. I cut off his last. Oh no. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Sparkle? Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Wait, wait. Wait. Is is Adventurine's death in 17 System Hours like death the beast monster coming to take him? Or like head rolling dead in a dream and in reality or just in the dream because if that's true and this is a way for him to get into the family 
wouldn't that mean that it's possible that it was almost Robin's and um, Robin and Firefly's initiation into the family? And that maybe Robin's, uh, sorry, Robin's pain, like the reason she couldn't sing anymore was because of the effects of harmony on her. And then Firefly, her illness had worsened, maybe something like that. Got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. Ow. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. So I think I'm right? <laughs> Question mark? But it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing. Oh, that girl. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? I guess, yeah, I should really... I feel like maybe she likes... Like steeping in Did other you people's see misery. Descend into chaos. Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Birdie, birdie. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> is that Acheron's word? Who's so Birdie? <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes. But one is dead now. And the other... Though he's still in Tenacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Huh? Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Feels weird <laughs> right now, to there call are him fool. Two things missing from my grasp: the meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. I have no clue what the truth is. I lied. How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only six I know. Hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Is this is just like Here you go. <sighs> this is my precious mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, Blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? She really does just want chaos. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, 
and deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. He's a master of trickery. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other new friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Pentagoni. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? So, number 35, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. I'm just in shock. I can't really be considered a lucky charm. I guess so. I I have no clue. I didn't give you permission. I have Sorry, let me analyze that. Try to analyze that a little bit. I have no clue who the second mute is. I have no clue if my theory makes any sense whatsoever. I I don't know. Um I can't, I have, <coughs> I have like zero guesses as to who the other mute is. Like, actually, I do, don't I? Is it not the other person that Samp, is it not Sampo? Because those are the two people that Sparkle impersonated, right? Robin and Sampo. Unless Sampo's... Sampo's here. I think? Okay, wait, but that makes sense. But I'm glad he's eventually is not going to talk to him because I don't want to see him. If he's dead, I'll be glad, but we'll see. Huh, okay. I think that also kind of explains that why Sparkle would be there in the first place. Because if Sampo had gotten into trouble with the family and lost his voice in the process, then Sparkle would have been trying to get him out or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Adventuring is past. The guys in black say much. So I've no idea what you did to see the scene of that massacre back in the day. I don't know. I feel like I haven't but I been like actually walking and kind of cutting the while. Bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you. I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. You want adventuring to... Oh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now. Damn. Adventure in story is actually honestly pretty dark and brutal. How much did he spend? 
What? My price. Uh, how much? I mean, pay? it honestly feels like his huh. luck was really like. I want to know. Hmm. Well, I don't know what it was. Sixty tonba. I know what that. Or do no less. There's no relation to that currency. I, I don't know. Is that expensive? Is that tanba. cheap? If I come back alive, you'll give me thirty tanba. Deal. <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some ah. guts. No. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Or you collect those chips for yourself, and you become your own master. Don't embarrass me, my... Dang. Huh. What brings you here, Gallagher? After this part, I'm assuming, because I can't stop this. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? <laughs> oh, I have a whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Hello? This bar offers a wide variety I never expected to see, see Siobhan, actually. I'm... Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? Segue into quest. Pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look, a lady as cool as Sir Val. Who's Sir Val? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? I wish I could, honestly. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Uh, there in age, and I need some practice before I forget. Gallagher them. honestly looks older than. Uh, what did you stash the ingredients? Older than Welt. No. Welt feels like he's, <laughs> like you know, hitting his fifties. Gallagher's still like forties, maybe. I don't know. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non Ah, okay. I will stop as soon as I can Bar? stop this. But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Uh oh, a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. I might just do the Hunger, drinking the drinking, but the it's all the reach, bartending right? event tomorrow then I guess. Let's see, see we'll see. My lovely lady. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. Mm -hmm. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master mm -hmm. technique, mm -hmm. and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Mm -hmm. Only then Got can it. a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. Got it. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. I'm very indecisive though, what do I do? Alright, I guess we're stopping here before I collect ingredients for some... For who? I have no clue. I want that chest, but I'm not gonna get that chest. Yeah, I'll just stop right here so I don't... Um, I wasn't that shocked, but <clears throat> I will continue the rest of this tomorrow. Um, few things I'm. Ooh, sorry, not what I did. Few things to do. Let's check my premium account. Uh, hopefully, I'll have at least another temple tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see, though. Should I pull today or should I pull at the start of tomorrow's? Thoughts, thoughts. I mean... Also, where's the... 
Hello? Let me check this while I'm here. Is it not out yet? Oh yeah, it's just here. Oh, I had to finish the prereq. Okay. Never mind. And never mind. I thought it was out already. Okay, I'll do half half then. I'll do fifty today and fifty tomorrow. I'm nervous. Actually seventy today. Wait, sorry. Eighty today. And I'll do the rest tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Ready? Who who jelly bean time? Jelly bean time. I'm scared. I'm oh I really want her. Please tell me I will get her. Oh shoot, I lost the jelly bean I was gonna pick. Wait, look. It's cinnamon. I lied? It's cherry. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm only getting the good ones from these jelly beans. Does that mean my luck will run out? I'm scared. I feel like I should save some of my luck. Thank you, Ranko. Thank you. I'm praying. I'm most likely not going to get her <laughs> as my next five star, but I have prepared myself mentally for it. Okay, I'm ready. <sighs> Please come home to me. Please come home to me. Okay. Oh, 10 pity. I don't know if I said that. Also, praying for the nihility. Is it on this banner? The nihility light cone? Yeah. Gallagher, good sign, good sign. We already got, <laughs> we already got Gallagher. Okay, okay. Early, please, early, 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 early. Tingyun, I'll take it. I kind of needed the cons. Just a question. Um, oh, actually, it is on this, right? Come on. Both Pella and Downhill. Okay, we've collected the series. We've collected the peer series. And okay, we're gunning for several Pellas. Several Pellas. Several Pellas. This is C. One, <laughs> E1, <laughs> E1. Oh, no. uh, that was three, right? That was three? I thought it was two. No, I had a hundred. I've done three. I don't remember what the heck my. Oh. Gallagher, okay, Gallagher, Gallagher, we love Gallagher. Please, please, you told me you're okay, I guess it's tomorrow. So if you do want me to see get my, if you do want to see me get my five star, join me in my live stream tomorrow, yeah? probably around the same time. <clears throat> Am I gonna get another pillar too in this, you know? This was random. I guess there goes my pillar. <laughs> yep, there went my pillar. Okay, I guess we'll still have a chance tomorrow. E1. Mm. Probably like E2 is best. Know. We do have 30 saved up on the um, standard too, so I'm just gonna do these. I don't know what my pity is on this though. Honestly, I feel like I haven't gotten. 
Oh, I did get a good night in Sipo. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> oh. Um, 21 pulls. Guess we're getting to 50. We'll see if we get anything, but... Nothing. Should I screw? I don't know if you guys want the excitement of seeing it all. I kind of needed this. Wait, is this air air edition? I don't know which fat it is. I'll click on it after. I do remember thinking that I needed it. Yeah, it is air edition. I think it was supposed to be good for like Kanye or something like that. So not a bad loss there. Am I gonna get any <laughs> any five stars today? <laughs> any of them? Anya, I'm sorry, any. <clears throat> I guess yeah. That that this is. Oh wait, no, it's not for Hanya. Who has erudition? There was someone I was trying to get that for. Probably, maybe Argenti then, yeah. I'm skipping the rest. <gasps> Yay, we did get a pillar! Yes! <laughs> so Hoyaverse can hear me. If that's the case... No? Okay, they're not that generous today, apparently. Hoyaverse knows my necessities and needs, though, right? Unless I have to say them out loud for it to be, for it to work. I don't think I ever needed this, but okay, sure. Cool, cool. That was it. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Sag. But we have 50 pulls for tomorrow. I'll probably do those in the beginning. I'll probably do those in the beginning. Yeah. Probably pull for her first and then we'll continue on with the quest. Just because, um, life is just gonna be like that, I see. Let's check out our goodies quickly and then I'll probably have to end because it's already past 12. Yay! You five to you. Please let me show you some of our local hospitality. Someone who disappeared. <laughs> e4 Hanya. I didn't even realize I had dream. Star from the heavens has enlightened my path. I didn't realize I actually had that many cons of Hanya. Steam two. Stay focused. Push forward. Five. Stay focused. I think Push that's good. forward. Then I should go for four, right? Four and six. This is not nothing. This is my first Dunhong Con. Oh, no, I have two. How do I have two? I have zero recollection of this. Three. And who are my erudition? I guess I was Argenti? It's probably Argenti. Probably Argenti. Unless it was QQ, but... I don't think so. <clears throat> mm. 
Look at, ooh. It feels weird. It feels weird that he's watching me like this. Also, I guess the bloodhounds have been traveling, checking my location, right? Because, like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. He's like the, like, the, the you know, the statues, the black hound statues that have been following us? Maybe from that. What more do you want me to do? Oh, cons. I forgot. I forgot. Be careful. Don't get too lost in those sweet dreams. I'll try not to. Okay, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> then, I guess I'll end here. I probably won't do farming for tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like I should farm. Were you shocked just now? Uh, maybe I'll just avoid this area. Yeah, maybe I'll just avoid this area and kind of farm everywhere else if I can. Like, freaking do light pavilion, child stream, I guess, Queen's Edge. I thought I'd done most of this though. Probably try to farm a little bit more, but I don't think I'll get another temple. Very likely won't get a temple. So, if that's the case, um, I will have to just um, change it out. English, sorry, brain lagging. Um, I'm actually, oh my god, my brain's actually so dead. I don't know where I am anymore. Like, oh yeah, my hair. It's bothering me. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like. I don't understand really anyone's plans or what they're thinking of doing because like uh, like Akron I don't know I feel like she's just trying to you know be okay is this the right one yeah okay and then oh shoot I didn't click exit and then I I don't understand I kind of understand adventurings more. I think playing as him definitely did help kind of understand. Help kind of like understand his perspective a little bit more. And if I hit the nail in the head about Sparkle and... Not Sparkle. About Robin and Firefly becoming part of the family as thingamabobs, then... I'm actually proud of myself if I had gone that, but um, I don't think I am right though, because I feel like I make a lot of these hypotheses and they're like very rarely right, so we'll see though, you never know, you never know. Um, anyways, um, my brain is quite dead, so I'm sorry that I'm just mm, now. I'm really excited though for um, tomorrow's adventure. Um, I don't know if we're gonna actually get all the answers. Do would it really end in like two quests? I think probably three, right? Like it would go into two point three. I don't know. The fact that Boot Hill said he was gonna be there is what makes me think that the story will continue. But I don't know. Um, I'm also sure that, um, most likely you know, but I don't know as of now, but, um, yeah, I guess thank you all for watching if you made it this far. Um, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, it's free. So it's a great way to support me if you enjoyed watching my stream. 
Um, and also if you want to watch more of my streams. So, um, <laughs> still brain cells are laggy. Oh my God. I feel like it was just like so much information, like so many like small details just thrown at you that my brain is just like, I gave up categorizing and processing it like a while ago, but it's probably going to come back in like a few months where there's going to be quests and they're going to be like, oh yeah, Constance. And I'll be like, who the heck is Constance? And then I'll remember, oh yeah, she was this lady, you know, something like that. But um, anyways, um, I will see you guys tomorrow, probably. <laughs> I want to say before 8, but no guarantees, 7 or 8 between then. Um, and we will finish the rest of 2.1 live stream. And also start immediately with Acheron Pulse because I think I need Acheron more than ever. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow then for another day of HSR. It feels weird. I've never streamed two days in a row. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. And good night. Sweet dreams. Not too good of sweet dreams. Enough that you might die in them. If you do, hopefully this reality is a little better than that reality. Pentagon's reality. So, good night, everyone. Oh, music. <laughs> you was about to forget something. I will... See you guys in the next live stream. So as always, don't forget to stay you. Good night. I am waiting for you, Acheron. I'm waiting for you. I don't know if this fits, but okay. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. So, all right. No, it doesn't fit. Sorry, hold on. It doesn't fit. Lily Pichu is always going to fit. So, all right. Good night, everyone. <laughs>